On to race number six on the programme, and our sixth event is a class four over the 1650, headed by Villa Fion. Ricky Ewan, Zach Purton jumps from the inside gate, runner up last time out, but that was run back in December, sorry, in November. Janzian Rocks in good form, top four placings in his last three runs. Glorious Lover in similar sort of form, last four starts hit the frame each time. Everlar, very consistent, third, second, fourth. He should roll forward from barrier number three. Gallant Crown, though, is on a hat trick. Tony Millard and Karis Teton. We've got uh, right honourable, beaten favourite two starts back. And they try a gear change with the pacifier and the cows going on. California Legend uh, should roll from barrier number 11 and then uh, down to Diamond Star. Close to a class drop here. We'll jump from barrier number two with Wagner Borges in the saddle. Uh, Villa Fion and California Legend mark are the two horses that have been up at Chung in the last month. We've got a good to slow tempo here for the 1650 with Everlaugh. He's been pushing forward and he might even push forward and find the lead here. Gallant Crown on the hat trick will be in behind him. California Legend, he's a last start winner coming back up in grade. We know he likes to roll forward. Top score, Happy Warrior in off the bench with cover three wide star of Redders out there too. Zanjian Rocks getting a better trip than last time. Glorious Lover, Diamond Star, failed to run on last start. He's second last with Happy Fortune. We're looking at Villa Fon here. Now he's the one on the far side in the, in the red saddle cloth. He, um, it's hard to see there, but he's going nicely enough uh, down the back straight. They just had to jump out with a stable mate. And uh, he's nice and relaxed uh, in his piece. Everlaugh, uh, likely to go forward here from his barrier number three. Did run fourth behind fast pace last time. Uh, he's getting on a bit now. He's a seven-year-old, but look, his work's been OK. Just nice, quiet work with all the gear on there, as you can see. And California legend, he's a Class 5 winner last time. He comes up now to the bottom of Class 4, but he is up to this class. He's, he's performed well in it before. He's a two-time winner in Class 4. I well, speak to two-time winners. That's where we're starting. Actual fact: in Gallant Crown, he's on a hat trick here for Tony Millard. His jockey, though, is Karis Teton. Karis Gallant Crown. Now that was a tough win from him last time out. Yes, uh, it was. Uh, it was a hard win, and actually, I thought I was gonna end up leading the race from working working forward, and and he was travelling a little bit hard um, around the, the 1200 meter. And until we got the, the horse that went to the front and he, he put, puts on a, a bit of pace and my horse was nice and relaxed and, and he fights on nicely uh, to win a good race. So I think he's, he's a horse that got some mobility, so that's what makes him won last time. Were you impressed by the way that he really toughed it out in the last 100 metres to dig deep to win that race? Yeah, like I say, you know, consider how, how he, what, what, what happened from the start and for him to still finish off uh, like that was, was good. Like I said, I think he's a horse that, that's uh, improving with, with racing, so he should definitely improve from the last time. OK, so can he win again? Can he make it three in a row here? Well, he's still in class four, so I think, I think he's still... Of course, he's got much more weight to carry this time. He's got a good gait, so that should help him. And, uh, you know, he's won two over a 16.50 now. Uh, he's in good form, so I don't think why he should not uh, perform well again. And he's got Barry Four this time as well, so should get a, a pretty good run in transit. Gallant Crown, a reasonably confident Karis Teton there. Who is rivals uh, then, Mark? Glorious Lover, Everlaugh and Diamond Star, any chance? Yeah, got two of the three in uh, Andrew Everlaugh and Glorious Lover. Was really disappointed here in Diamond Star. Thought his step up to the 16.50 would be ideal for him. He only managed an eight behind fast pace. The other two are going well. Everlaugh had done some early work here, Paul, so he knocked up a bit. And Glorious Lover, still a maiden after 13, but is getting pretty close. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He's the one I've got in of those uh, trio there. Uh, Glorious Lover, I think he's too far away. OK, what about California legend uh, then, Paul? This is him winning last time out, course and distance, but it's in class five and it was from barrier three. Yeah, so he's got to draw, he's got barrier number 11, but I think he can go forward. Uh, he's got, got some good uh, gate speed there. Uh, whether the, he leads or not, that, that'll be the query with him. But look, he won this pretty impressively and he has won twice in the grade before. I've got him in on a minor line. Happy to risk him, but we'll see Verda Star earlier in the night. So if he comes out and goes a really good race, it's going to frank that form. But just thought the step up in class might be enough to leave him out of the top four. OK, looks like all the betting actions towards the top of the card here. Paul, who do you like? I, I like Gallon Crown to go to the hat-trick. I think he's going to get a really nice run just in behind the pace. Or he can lead, as Karis said there as well. He's drawn well. He, won't, he drew wide last time, so they used him up a little bit to get across. And he, he did fire up a bit, but from his lower draw, I think he can just sit in behind the pace. So he's on top, glorious lover, the maiden. I think he's going well, and the wind's not far away. Villa Fon, last time we saw him at the races behind Fearless Fire was a good run. Another one from Barrier 1, he should be just in behind the pace with Zach Burton aboard. And uh, California Legend, 5-3, 1-11.
Glorious lover to break through. Joe Marira with the ride for Me Choi. He's been getting closer and closer. He's been racing fast pace and Kento prepared who's absolutely flying. Ever laugh. That fourth behind fast pace was actually quite good because he did some early work in that race. Zanjian Rocks went wide the trip last time, was only beaten the length. And Villa Fion hasn't raced since November. He's had no trials, but he gets the inside draw. Three, four, two and one. Four and three is my cue there. I think Everlaugh maybe if the front can possibly nick it with Alexi Bedell in the saddle from barrier number three. All right, six races down. Race seven is next for us. It's the last of the class fours.